No, I'm not interested. No, it's too expensive. No, I don't want to sign up now. These are just some of the things your customers might say when they're refusing you or rejecting your offer. But what do they really mean? In this video, we will look at what that no really means to understand your customer's needs better. Let's explore this together right after this. Hello, I'm Doug Barra, and in this video, we'll explore what your customers really mean when they say no. When people say no, they might not really mean no. Here are some other meanings behind that no. No, it was the wrong timing. No, we're not ready at this moment. No, I need more information before making this decision. So why is it important to understand what your customer is really saying? If you don't know what they're trying to say, then how can you hope to have communication with them? Communication is the most important part of serving your customers. It's your job to understand what your customers want and need from you. The more you know about them, the better you'll solve the problems they have. Also, understanding the needs and desires of your customer is key to understanding their no. Let's take a look at an example. You're a restaurant owner, and someone walks in for food. You greet this person, they sit down, and they say no to the offer that you've made them. In speaking with owners of restaurants, hotels, or other service businesses, the question I asked was, how do you handle rejection from customers? The answer is always the same. They want to know how to avoid it. But what they don't understand is when people say no, they mean yes. There's an, here's an example of what I'm talking about. You walk into a lobby, hotel lobby, and there are signs everywhere advertising different kinds of services like massage therapist, hairstylist, room service, etc. They all sound really nice, but before you take advantage of any of those, you want to get yourself settled and relax from your trip. You go up to the desk to check in, and at the end of the interaction, the assistant asks, can I help you with any of our other services? You say no. Now, why did you say no? I know that when I experience something like that, it feels a bit pushy. In other words, when someone asks me if I want anything from them before I have actually inquired about anything more than our interaction, it gives me the idea that they want to sell me these things. This is not necessarily what anybody wants, so saying no comes naturally at times like this. As an owner of a business, do you really want somebody to come into your store and think about how much they don't need what you're selling? Of course not. They came in because they were interested in something. So you want to help them get that. When they say no, you haven't really understood what they want. So it's an opportunity to really discover that. In my previous videos, we discussed your avatar. And when you get a no in your business, you can use that information to make your avatar description better. The better your avatar describes your customer, the better you will be able to serve them. In this video, we've talked about what your customers might mean when they say no, and how to determine what it really means. To wrap up, let's consider this. No is a great word. If someone says no to you, that means you have the opportunity to grow as a business owner. They're giving you an opportunity for improvement in some way, shape, or form. So don't take it so hard when people say no to you, because there is always something that can be learned from each experience. I'm committed to inspiring business owners to take their business to the next level of success. And to do that, your business must have a stable foundation to grow on. Like you can't build a skyscraper on the sand, you can't build your business without a solid foundation. This is why I created the Insider's Guide to Success in Business. In this book, I've outlined what you need to do to have a solid foundation for your business's growth. Inside this book, you will discover the specific steps that you can do to build your foundation, as well as 
how to know exactly where you are along that journey. I'm offering this book to you absolutely free of charge. Click on the link below this video or go to www.insidersguidetosuccessinbusiness.com to download your free copy and start your growth today. I'd love to know what value you got from today's video or what questions you have. Leave me a comment. I look forward to reading what you have to say. Please take a moment and like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell to get all notifications so that you don't miss a single one of our videos. Once again, I'm Doug Barra, and now it's your turn. Click the link, download your free book, start building your foundation, and I'll see you in our next video.